Let's go guys, let's commentate some beautiful Warcraft. Hey Kassen, glad that you already made it here. Hope you're having a good time. We're gonna see Yumiko against Moon Highlights again. This makes no sense. No, this is Infi against Foggy, of course. They just changed the names real quick. It will be a best of three nonetheless. It's the playoff stage. And we're gonna start with the first map, which is Twisted Meadows. So, as you can see, we're gonna do a restream of the beautiful Chinese stream on Dojo TV. So, big shout outs to the production crew providing us with this amazing footage here that we have with their beautiful picture from the players as well as the scores and the flex of the country. So we have our Ukrainian Knight of players starting with the late Altar of Elders. So this is probably going to be a uh, Tavern Build Warrior. I have seen him play Beast Mars though like yesterday and increase the volume here so that we're gonna have some Chinese commentary but we're also gonna have like a little bit of in-game sound. Um, yeah, I saw him yesterday play a lot of Beastmaster. Let me know if that is actually good here, the volume. If you cannot like hear me, let me please know. I just adjusted it to 5% volume. But yeah, yesterday I saw him practice a lot against Hawk and he played Beastmaster on all set on all maps that I have seen. There was like Turtle Rock, Twisted Meadows and Equals and I think always Beastmaster first. So he wants to play something different and this is what I also recommended to him and what he probably figured out himself. If you play the standard Demon Hunter or Warden, these guys have a counter against it. Of course, they have also played against uh, Beastmaster first, but not that much in the recent past, I guess. And sometimes you just forget about something, or if you play something surprising and it catches your opponent off guard, it's always beneficial for your game. So Beastmaster out with the first Archer, no creeping intended at all. Infi on the other hand, level 2 already with that quick laboratory creep spot. Can he do something? He will kill two workers at least. Is he going for a third one? He will have a second Quill Beast in a second if he is willing to spawn that. So far he has to micro the archers away. And I hope everything works good here for Foggy. I really cross my fingers for him and wish him all the best of luck. But in the end the better player will of course win. We have a second Ancient of War being constructed close to that natural expansion of Foggy. He is still not attacking, probably adding a Huntress Hall right now. He knows that these Chinese humans will always go for an expansion. There's absolutely no other plan in their like kind of portfolio of strategies. Like they are so committed to that strat. And as it seems two more units died down there. One of them was probably a creep. The other one was a peasant. Nonetheless, one of the footmen is now encountering the archers. And as it seems, Infi finds himself enough time to call the militia and the footmen to the expansion. Archers are not there yet. Beastmaster is also a little bit out of position. Is going for the expansion right now. Infi is about to start the creeping here with like seven militias and four footmen. Two Quilby's coming to the party as well as the few remaining archers. He will be on two Engine of War Huntresses in a second, but this is still a little bit away. Can he steal the creep? He's not even going for it. He's not going for any kind of steals. Level 3 for the Archmage, nonetheless, of Infi. And this is probably already the downfall of that strategy here, because level 2 Water Elementals will do a great job against the Huntresses that will come sooner or later. Beastmaster still level 1. Of course, he killed a few workers. He's still going for a few more, but he cannot find that level 2. And what is even more important, that he is not going for the crazy level 3, because level 3 makes the Beastmaster a hell of, str of stronger. He wants to, to surround the Beastmaster for a second. Let's go of that idea. One of the workers, whoa, almost a surround, squeezing through that narrow position. One of the workers will probably die. But also Infi is not giving that one for free. He oh the worker stays alive and he cannot go in there. There's no more Quilbies that he can use. Level 2 Water Elemental is chasing away the units. 110 wood is still available after constructing the ex expansion. And so far I think it looks really good for Infi. Getting that level 3. Getting that expansion without too many losses. And yeah, so far I'm really impressed with the performance of Infi. On the other hand, Foggy, maybe not finding the right kind of composition here for the early game, is now trying to go from the other side and will flank that expansion with the two Huntress there, but also beautifully done there by Infi, gets the Boots of Speed, gets the Staff of Teleportation, whenever it gets dicey he can easily staff back to the expansion, save it and summon a second ward elemental to prevent the Huntresses from diving in on his workers, but so far he's well committed with that Archmage, wants to go deep and see if there's an expansion attempt from Foggy on the other hand, he scouted already with one of the footmen, Engine of War is now used to take the damage from the natural expansion. And he will go up to level 2 by finishing that one. But the level 3 Archmage is around. Immediately goes for the Archer Snipes. 
gets the first one here, probably with another fireball. Yes, both of the Huntresses are ensnared by the creeps now. Dust of Appearance is there. He bought that one, and this game turns out to be a really tough one for him. And the item, as well as the experience, no, the experience go to the Knight of Player, but the item, the Pure Rapt of Vitality, goes to Infi. He puts so much pressure on Foggy, even denies the footman there. And he could not creep the entire spot, still struggling to find that level 3 that he will need. Of course, it would not have been enough, even if he finishes that creep spot. But also, the Huntress is doing a really good job there from Foggy. So this was definitely a nice flank, setting that one up, killing a few workers, putting some pressure on his opponent. But the level 2 Ward Elementals, the Boots of Speed, doing a phenomenal job still for him. A detonate on the Ward Elemental, he really needs to kill that one. Footmen are running out, Huntresses are going for the flank again, they're going to kill a few more peasants in the peon line. There they are, they can at least kill one or two more I guess, one of the Huntresses is dropping fairly low. Needs to be careful though. Militias are being called on the other side, we have one guard tower being constructed, Shredder is already there and Infi starts tacking in the meantime. <coughs> That one lonely hunt huntress, the lone wolf, is trying to make something happen. But in the meantime, the beastmaster is creeping. So there's still a timing window that he can probably use. He gets the forest troll priest to dispel the level 2 ward elementals. That will be amazing. So beastmaster is such a tough hero. It's it's a tough hero to deal with because level 2 quill be like early game it's not that tough the, he cannot really do all that much but as soon as he gets the level 3 it becomes a whole lot stronger and he can do so much now the water elemental is being sniped one dispel goes down water elemental will grant some more experience if he really goes for it if he wanted to steal that one with a fireball and he gets it in the end even the chinese casters go crazy on that one he steals it with a fireball Infi is just on fire in this game. Everything that he does is picture perfect so far. Expansion is there, tech is there, Shredder is there, he gets towers. The mass of Huntresses, he's at 50 supply with 800 gold. He can easily, he easily needs to buy like two heal scrolls or a heal scroll and a protection scroll. He cannot get the access to the shop, he takes so much damage. In the meantime from the creeps, finally he gets the access and can buy the scrolls. Woodman, of course, they are useless. They are useless against um, Huntresses, and we will see that in a second. The Bouncing Glaives will do a phenomenal job against them, but it, he's committed to that expansion, he's committed to that attack, still 500 gold, he brings a lot of Wisp with him to detonate the Water Elementals. Archmage, in the meantime, goes to the Mercenary Camp, is probably going to hire everything that he can, so that he can transfer his gold into units. And then take that fight. Heal scroll and protection scroll both are used already. Units are coming from both sides. Ancient protectors are being started there. The huntresses will try to take a fight against the footmen. So far, they are not killed. Amazing micro there from Infi. It's just crazy to see that. See that microing both of the footmen. And now we see no cancel on the ancient protectors. One one is cancelled. The other one died with another cancel coming out, and all of them are cancelled. The mercenary additions that he got with the archmage was definitely the right call. He should have dispelled the water elemental instead of trying to get a few towers up. Not sure if this is really the perfect choice. Get a dispel on the water elemental and win the game right here, right now. But if the game goes any longer and if he keeps killing unit after unit, that is not looking good for Foggy. Seems like this Beastmaster strategy in the end not working as planned. Also not as well executed, so to say. But on the other hand, he's playing against a player like Infi, and Infi is pretty damn strong, as you can see it, in a fantastic position. Position and repositioning the mercenaries. He's not even losing them, microing them really well there. And yeah, Infi just showcasing how well and how good of a play he actually is. Look at all the footmen below 100 HP. Even the Berserker stays alive for now. Ogamola will pay the price and definitely die. No, this one is even... He even stays alive. Can he save that one? Can he deny him with the with the other one? Level four now. Wow, two huntresses die against the towers. Infi will just fall back there. Step of teleportation is used. He will fall back, heal up all his units, and then he can go for round two. No expansion for Foggy though. He's taking to tier three in the meantime. Not even trying to get like any sanctums or anything. And Foggy knows this is GG. This didn't work, and probably another strategy has to be used. For the second game of today, 1-0 lead for our Mr. Infi in that biker suit. It uh, looks crazy, but yeah, whatsoever. He is still part of a team and he's doing pretty damn good for himself.